What's up guys, this is your casual gamer. Now this is something new I'm going to start doing called Shandell's Top 10s, where I pick my top 10 things in whatever gaming category the video is about. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing my choice for my top 10 best video game mascots of all time. Now you can agree with me or you can disagree. Either way, let me know in the comments below. Now let's get into it. Kicking things off at number 10 is Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the very first video game mascot ever. Pac-Man was the ruler of the arcades. I remember my first time experiencing Pac-Man was at a local laundromat. I made sure I went with my mom every time she went, begging her for quarters, until she realized I sucked and that she were better off saving her quarters for washing more clothes. Pac-Man along with Miss Pac-Man is easily recognizable as Bandai Namco's mascot even to this day. Pac-Man, you are the original OG. Next up at number 9 is Mega Man, also known in Japan as Rockman. Mega Man got its start in 1987, the side-scrolling platform games were pretty good at the beginning and Mega Man had a lot of games, maybe too many, and more is not always good, especially when the quality was going down in the later games. People were complaining saying they were adding too much dialogue and that was taken away from the action. But I still love Mega Man and he will always be Capcom's beloved blue little shooter. Number 8 goes to Luigi. He's not as recognizable in the games as Mario, but a majority of Mario game fans actually prefer Luigi over Mario. Luigi may have started out as just a palace swap, but in the end, he became a man of his own. He has been great and fun to play in every game he has been in, and the reason I like him is he's faster than Mario, he jumps higher than Mario, and I would say he just has more personality than Mario. Number 7 is Spyro the Dragon. First appearing on the original PlayStation, he wasn't the main mascot for PlayStation but he was definitely a cool character. Spyro made 3D platforming more cool with amazing views, nostalgic music, and beautiful levels at his time. Alongside Crash Bandicoot, these two mascots were holding it down for PlayStation, delivering great titles and they really gave Nintendo a scare whenever their games were released. Taking the number 6 spot is Master Chief, the main character from the Halo series. If it wasn't for this guy in Halo, we would probably not be seeing the Xbox brand today. Master Chief picked up Xbox and carried it across the finish line by himself, and not to mention these games have great campaigns and great multiplayer. Now the latest game in the series wasn't as good as the first four, but we have high hopes for Halo Infinite whenever we get it, but I am glad they delayed it because the graphics really needed some improvement. Number 5 is Crash Bandicoot. Back in the day, every console had their mascot, and PlayStation's mascot was Crash. Not as popular as Mario and Sonic, but his games were great. And unlike Sega and Nintendo, PlayStation really didn't need a mascot, they would have sold tons of consoles regardless. But with that great console, they did have Crash. I will say this, if this was a cool factor list, Crash would be first place. Number 4 is Link, not Zelda. Not gonna lie, back in the day, I thought that Link's name was Zelda because of the name of the game. Laugh if you want, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one who thought this. Zelda is one of Nintendo's top selling franchises and in my opinion, has the best game out of all the mascots on this list, that being Breath of the Wild. That game alone will make you want to go out and buy a Nintendo Switch, and I can't wait to part 2 releases, and also I hope the rumors are true, and that we're getting the new Switch, so I can play this part 2 on. Coming in at number 3 is Pikachu. Now I know you guys may be saying he isn't a gaming mascot, he's a character from the Pokemon TV series, and that's true, but let's not forget that Pokemon is now a top selling video game series dating all the way back to 1996, and Pikachu was, and still is, the most popular Pokemon, and it helps that he's super cute, I mean hey, you can't deny that. I mean who doesn't want to catch a Pikachu, right? 
Taking the number two spot on this list is Sonic the Hedgehog, the mascot that made the Genesis give Nintendo a run for the money. But that was back in 1991. Today, his newer games are not that popular, but Sonic himself is still well known. We all still want him to return to his former glory with every new game release, but honestly, the solo games just keep getting worse. Luckily, we can see him standing by Mario's side these days in games, and we can enjoy him there. I'm pretty sure you all seen this one coming, but Mario takes the number one spot. I still remember the day my dad brought home my first video game console, the original Nintendo, and I had Super Mario Brothers to go with it. I've been a fan ever since, and I have played and enjoyed every Mario game ever released. I would also say he is the most widely known mascot. No matter what part of the world you live in, I'm pretty sure you have heard of Super Mario. So that is my top 10 picks for the best video game mascots of all time. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you agree with me or disagree. And also let me know if you like this type of video so I can continue making these type of videos in the future. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.